All right, I'm level 40 now. I did a few things in between cuts. Um, just a couple like secondary quests, nothing really important. Last video was a secondary quest, but it was to do with one of the Duchy's ladies there, the Lady Vivian, and uh, I'd pointed her out before, so I wanted to include that one. And it was to do with the tournament, which everyone's talking about, but all these quests were just kind of like generic Witcher contracts, nothing really special. One of them was going around showing this guy, and he was basically taking pictures of some different creatures for his daughter who's bedridden because uh, she loves creatures and um, I did the Fists of Fury Toussaint so just fighting people unarmed and then some other like random quests that I was just stumbling upon like clearing out a couple cave of some monsters like uh, Arach Arachnomorphs really nothing special um, and then like a couple treasure hunt quests too that like when I went into those caves I'd find a quest for a treasure hunt it will none of them were entertaining really Anyways, now I'm level 40, I can do the Grandmaster Feline Gear quest. Go, go. And so that is what I'm doing. Um, I don't think there's anything else. Oh, I maxed out the Undying perk, since I have like 11 perk points. Um, I decided to say, you know what, screw it. I'll go ahead and... Uh, I'll go ahead and spin three of these to max out Undying. I use it, so might as well. Uh, it's not the most reliable perk, but hey, I got the perk points. I got plenty of them, even if I'm going to be using more mutagen soon for other purposes, uh, I can, you know, afford to drop three on this one perk. So it's a bit better than it used to be, though. I haven't used it yet. I haven't died. Um, got knocked out in a fist fight, but that doesn't count. Oh my god, I'm getting ahead of myself here. <laughs> oh man, these fools got absolutely stomped. simply cannot. Oh, let me order's wounds. Calm down. It's over. I thank you, sir. And you must forgive me my momentary loss of composure. Are you in need of accoutrements, monsieur? Accoutrements, monsieur. Bonjour. Bonjour. It's goofy ass spectacles. Looking for scrolls, manuscripts, bearing diagrams of Witcher gear specifically. Any chance you've happened on any? I've not yet managed to inventory the sundries. I arrived just a short while ago. The bandits arrived with their terror. But you may ferret about if you so wish. Cool. What do you have? So, let's... Oh, this guy doesn't buy swords, bro. What a loser. What do we got here? Dye solution? Yeah, screw you. I was gonna free up some of my inventory space. Let's check what he's doing here. Fellow looks abandoned. You its owner? More its temporary steward. By order of the treasury minister, I am to serve as caretaker of Count Deloni's properties and estates. The count is missing. Yet, no one at the palace warned me. Villa fit at this, the lair of bandits. That is to say, it was, but is no more. Thanks to your heroism, Monsieur Witcher. Peace, bro. Peace. Thanks. So long. Okay, let's steal whatever these tools. Oh, look at that. Orders for Reuben. Reuben, some quill pressure from her grease. The dumb case's court has been sniffing around the Villa Vade. I don't know. Don't reckon I need to explain why I don't like that, eh? Nor how much. You're in to find that clerk and kill him. Burn the village. Anyone in there with him? The noose. No raping, no impaling. Keep it simple. Then head back to the Arthak ruins quick because I've got another job for you. A Stragon. I have a feeling we might run into one Monsieur A Stragon at some point. Oh boy. 
think so. If I'm thinking of the right person. He'll get what's coming to him. He'll get what's coming. Let me tell you. Ooh, let me tell you. Anyways, how long am I into this? Five minutes. So today, um, New Year's Day still, um, for me, while I record this. But I, <clears throat> I went to, I probably fell asleep around like 12.45 or 1 or some crap last night. And typically I get up at like between 6 and 6.40. Um, and it was just weird because I got up like just before 8. And it felt like the day has gone by infinitely faster. It feels weird. It feels like the day's almost been a bit of a waste in a sense. You ever get that? Where... You get up later than usual and it feels like so much of the day's gone by. Anyways, Dear Bartolome, I have reviewed your letter and am delighted you have found a solution to your problems. The witch you described does indeed seem dangerous, and you yourself always told me they are freaks and cold-hearted murderers. Yet despite all that, I still think you should agree to this offer. If those diagrams truly do outline revolutionary new methods in armor smithing, not only will you be able to complete the contract your grace has given you, but you will also earn a great deal of glory for yourself, and that I know is what you value above all else. Going to the bandits who dwell in the ruins of the Arthak Palace for protection is a wise move. If the knights could not get the best of them, a witcher will also feel duly cowed in their presence. Shady miscreants of all types always respect each other. Still, be extra careful during that meeting. Bandits and witchers are not to be trusted. Yours truly, Belinda Delaunay. Another tale of a life compromised and ultimately claimed by greed and ambition. Look at all this food. Great stuff, great stuff. So, onwards to the ruins of the Artak Palace. Move it. I could probably... I could probably drop some of the maces that I picked up from these guys, because I'm going to be going around to all sorts of bandit camps here this time around, and... Uh, Merkin fools taking their weapons and such. So better to take the swords, which, uh, you know. Uh, do I want to steal whatever they have? Oops, our spear level. Yeah, they got a chest here, so it's... Whoa! I. Well, that happened. The moment I jumped off my horse, Geralt was uh, susceptible to an attack that instantly killed me. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, where was I? Let's heal up. So that such miscreants will not be able to best me again. Ugh. Oh my God. Jesus. Spells, he's casting spells. Yeah, no shit, bruh. I always like when I can take out the archer without anyone else catching up in time. And I always like when I roll into someone and push them back away from their friends so that the friend can catch up before I take him out. Oh, this guy walked into that one. Chain. A chain he dropped. Crowns, with wine, tons of crap here. I think I got some mutagens in there. That's juice. That's juice. All right, Roacher, come here, bud. Oops, I hit B instead of V. All right, a book. Always read those just in case it starts a quest or something. You never know. Is this the place I think it is? Oh, look at that, it is. A haunt's base. A few moments later. My first attempt was the best attempt. Funny how that works. It's really the archers that are the main problem. Cause they always like get that one hit in that like takes out my Quen and then 
one guy beside me with one of these giant hammers will get the like insta insta kill because of that. Dogs too, they jump in and take out Quen quick. See, like just like that. I think his friend there killed him. I don't think that was me. I don't know if that's possible. this guy. Okay. This one's going uh, fairly well if I don't get sniped here in a second. not it but that's the majority of it there's still a few guys on this side let's punch that guy that was it yeah there's guys behind me right away from there Factorio. Bin dude is Factorio. Whoa. I was about to say, this guy should, if he doesn't instantly get taken out, this is ridiculous because uh, he was wearing nothing. So. <laughs> Alright. So, that's that. Oh, mostly. What was that? Fourth time? Fifth time? I think it was fifth. It was like a, a good attempt 
three crappy ones and then the the wind. Anyways, I'll loot all these guys in a bit, I guess. Any for now I have to go and uh climb the castle and beat up the dirty rascal who's currently uh currently assumed that role. There's still a few guys down there. Or are they up here? Can't tell based on the map. But I just know that this guy's up here. Antoine Starling Dragon. Hey, Ace Dragon. We were talking about him a while ago. All right. Yep, that's, that's one way to do it, eh? Turquoise armor die? Tucson Knight Steel Sword? Where's my feline armor? Where is it? Where is it? I guess it is below. Maybe I have to clear everyone out. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, that's what I was waiting for. I knew there was a cutscene. Where they show up and they're like, Ah, Witcher, you just took out 78 men by yourself, sir. Well done. And then people still pick a fight with Geralt. Forgot I have to take screenshots this time around, because usually I do it during like the cutscenes when people are talking to each other. Hunts rain you've destroyed a haunts base and killed its leader that put an end to the power of the area, blah blah blah. Cool. So Witcher, are you the one that took us someone to help? Yeah. What? What did that guy say to me? Before long you will have to look to fairy tales to find a witcher or knight. Alright. Where is it? Organization chart? <laughs> For his men. I do not remember where this thing is. I thought it was like glaringly obvious, like at the top of the tower. To see here. Move along. These guys all jack crap on him. Eh? Want some grilled pork and them sandwiches and stuff. Too many people to loot. Ard? Wait, maybe it's over here. Ah, look at that. Hans's letter. It went off without a hitch. Bartolome Delaunay proved a poncy fool, just like I thought. Witcher fell right into our trap, too. Put too much stock in his skills, thought he could handle anything. At first, we acted like bored thugs, just putting our noses waiting for our pay. When Delaunay and the Witcher finally came to terms, the Witcher let slip. He was hiding the rest of the diagrams in the pits of Broom. Dangerous place, that, but maybe we'll find some safe route to the Witcher's cache. One bolt from the back took care of Delaunay. Expected more trouble from the Witcher, so we hit him with a couple. Good thing, too, because... He still had a good heap of life in him, though he couldn't even get up off the off his belly. I let the lad check just how much pain a witcher can stomach. They'd earned a bit of recreation after the fine job they'd done. And then we grabbed the coin of du off Delaunay and we were off to the pits of broom to get those precious diagrams. Blah, blah, blah. Armor. Oh, that shit luck. Pits of broom. Hmm. Strange name for a series of caverns. Should investigate. Wonder if the bandits got the treasure out of the cave. <clears throat> All right, Roach. That was fun. Did I get a lot of experience from that? I don't think I was anywhere near that before. Either way, that's a sick, sick time right there. I ended up doing... This is the only 
like master armor quest I did last time because the first time I played the game I didn't really understand the whole like master armor and stuff until like way too late. Um, so I ended up just using the Viper armor, which is from this DLC. Um, this and the last one, maybe it's between the two of them. So that was like my end game, but up until all that, I'd just been using like whatever, whatever was the best at the time, whatever I could find that had more damage resistance. So, uh, Jesus, what? Why are you using your freaking fist, Gary? And, uh, yeah, I wanted to do this quest just to do it, and this is the one I ended up doing after the feline thing, because I cats, so that was my only criteria. Christ. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. things are so annoying. Actually, I think these are the same things from Witcher 1. In Witcher 1, they're a trillion times worse because they constantly stun you. Every time you get hit by this stupid shit, they freaking... You're just in stun lock. And if there's this one area where there's like five of them, you can't do anything. Anyways, burned all my bridges. No returning possible. Not after I committed murder and took those Grandmaster diagrams. Probably already on my tail. Hope to finish the deal quick and start life new. start a new life in the south. My time as a Witcher is over. Can't trust Delaney, especially since he insisted we meet in a bandit's den. Hid the diagrams in a cave, which no ordinary man will be able to enter. If everything goes smooth, I'll collect my coin, tell him the cash is in the pits of broom, then offer to escort him for an additional fee. If it doesn't go smooth and someone finds these notes, know this. It was worth it. Worth killing my own. Worth stealing. Worth anything to escape from a miserable life on the path. Every witcher's felt it. The urge to drop it all and ride off into the sunset. This one decided to act on the urge. Costs be damned. Diagrams have a sad history. But I'll make good use of them. Cool. So you heard it from Gary himself. Sad stuff, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Um, where's my map? Shit. Mm, yeah, going back to the palace ruins is the best way. Come on, Roach. To get out of here, so I can hit up the fast travel station there. Is there like literally five of those things right there? Oh no! I didn't even realize it. He was, uh, he was flipping there. And there's a bunch of doggos here. Let me get to the fast travel sign without you guys attacking me. Okay. Wow, I still have plenty of room too. I kept thinking constantly I was going to be over encumbered from all that crap that I was picking up. Hmm. Nah, this one. Now we can get some wicked cool witcher armor. It's gonna be nuts. It's gonna be nuts. Fuck. Oh right, I still have to run around and find the missing components though, because I'm definitely not gonna have everything and then I'm gonna have to, it's, it's always the same. It's like, oh crap, I need an extra ruby or I need a little bit of this leather, or that leather, so. It's a bit of a process in crafting these things. Plus who knows, maybe this guy charges a proper premium. I hope your search goes well. Mm-hmm. Managed to find something already. Wonderful. I shall draft a copy. This is good. This at last will earn me the title of Grand Master. I thank you, Witcher. Yep. Would you craft something? Of course. Okay, before he crafts that for me, I have to go to the shop because sometimes... <clears throat> the whole well, I'll show you in a second here so let's go to crafting and Grandmaster feline boots so component missing enriched dimeridium plate and infused slizered hide holy crap 
Okay, we'll buy one of those, but I might be able to make an enriched dimeridium plate. So let's go to crafting materials, enriched dimeridium plate. Enriched dimeridium plate, components missing. Two dimeridium ingots, so let's go ahead and make some dimeridium ingots. And... What? Enriched dimeridium ingot. Oh, son of a bitch, dude. I just re I just used my ore. Farewell. Good luck. Where's my closest save? I have to reload that. I just used up my enriched dimeridium ore to make dimeridium ingots, but I need enriched dimeridium ingots, not dimeridium ingots. Dang it. Waste of money. Let's redo that. Let's redo that. This is what happens every time I've crafted every other set. There's always some some little bit of confusion in how to get things done. Yep, he's a grandmaster now. So let me see what you got. So I have access to supplies while I'm crafting. And I already know what I need. Enriched dimeridium ingot. What? I didn't have any to begin with? Enriched dimeridium ore. What is this? Acid extract? And then... Okay, that's that. And then the other thing I can buy... Craft item. Cool, so I got the Grandmaster boots. Now for the Grandmaster chest armor. Enriched dimeridium plate. Infused slicer hide. God, they better not be. I better not have to get more of that shit from other places. Crafting components. God, this shit's expensive. I might not have enough money to make this stuff. I have stuff to sell too, but... Jesus! 4,500 goddamn bucks! I don't have enough coin to make it! Really gonna have to get rid of some shit here. That won't be worth it. Get rid of this stupid thing, whatever. 20 armor piercing, 2% chance to cause burning. 2% chance to stagger, poison, don't care, attack power, adrenaline, stun, poison. Okay, I got a bit of stuff now. It's level 41, what the fudge, bro? That ticks me off. Grandmaster Feline Gauntlets. Oh my god. Infused Slizered Hide. Sounds like I got my case, it sounds like I got myself a case of editing here because I'm gonna need more gold and I'm going to need 
this stupid Slizard hide. Never heard of it. I just realized it's 41. I, I googled it and it said all these require level 40. Thanks, Google. Enriched dimeridium ingot. Oh my god, bro. So that means Geralt is... What? How come he's wearing it? It requires level 41. Alright, well, this is interesting. Um... Steel sword, Grandmaster Feline Steel Sword, Enriched Dimeridium Ingot. Okay, crafting components, Enriched Dimeridium Ingot. is mad expensive. I did not anticipate this. I did not anticipate this. I guess I'll have to edit this video and uh, I'll do it. I'll, I'll be back when I have the coin and, and the material to do the rest of it. So that means I'm going to have to side quest some more and get some money and do Witcher contracts and that sort of BS. So yeah, I'll be back. All right, I'm back after doing quite a few Witcher's contracts, or well, one, and then quite a few treasure hunts. Um, had to sell a bunch of stuff too, in order to buy some of the supplies that I need. So I didn't make anything more. I could have uh, in between, but I decided to try and make it all at once. So uh, here we go. Let's let's hope that this is enough. Um, I just want to get rid of a couple things that I just picked up here on the most recent, most recent treasure hunts, pardon me, uh, that I did, and I think I should be good to go. I guess we'll find out. So I got the boots done, chest done. What do I need? Boots, chest, gauntlets is next. Okay, so the Grandmaster gauntlets, let's craft those. Perfect, and I actually do believe I need one more enriched dimeridium ingot. And yep, I do have the enriched ore, which I was luckily able to pick up from a couple of a uh, couple of treasure hunts in the chests that I was getting. Uh, I got the gauntlets. How do I alphabet gauntlets? Silver Sword's next. Grandmaster Feline Silver Sword. Plus 70. That's 2k to craft. Ooh, I'm running low on the golds. I don't think I have enough for this one. Not enough coin, but I do have the materials, so I need 2400. And then the Grandmaster... Pants. Where are they? Where are they? Grandmaster... Pants. Oh, son of a gun. Infused Slizard Hide. So let's see if I can't make that. I don't think I can, though. Boom! Look at that. I can. Perfect. Grandmaster.
Master of Feline Trousers, craft those. And then the last thing I need is that steel sword. And how much is it again? I should be able to sell some stuff. 2400, so I need to get 2400. That'll be no problem. Oh, I can sell my old sword. So let me unequip that. Good luck on get this out of here. Greetings. And I think that'll be enough. What are you? I assume this is gonna be fairly expensive. Wait a second. Ravix of Fourhorn. Nah, who gives a shit? I was gonna say, but it's my sword. They addressed it to me with my name from the fake name that I had. But who gives a shit? Like, I'm not gonna be using it. I just take up inventory space otherwise. 2460. I think that's enough right there. What was it again? Twenty four ten, so I'll have fifty gold left. Jesus That freaking made me one broke person. So Farewell. Good luck on the past. Let's go ahead and throw the sword on. And then boom, I got an achievement. Dress to kill. You have unlocked the first bonus for the set. Collect more items to unlock the other. So we got Six out of six. Strong attacks increase fast attack damage for five seconds by 10% for each piece of the set. Current bonus 60%. Rear attacks deal 50% more damage and also stun opponents at the cost of one adrenaline point. Plus 15 Ard. Got some Ard bonuses. Quite a bit to Ard actually from this set. 22% attack power. 11%. 11%. 11%. Plus all my Quen give glyphs, looking pretty, pretty snazzy. So here's my statistics. I've actually never looked at this screen before. One sixteen ninety two silver sword, fast attack damage, twenty five percent of the fast attack damage critical hit, twenty seventy strong. Uh, or no, pardon me, that's the fast attack crit. Um. I mean, if you really give a shit, then you can pause it if anyone's even watching this. Um, sign intensity plus 77% stagger and Quen and all that juiciness. Cool. Cool. Well, that is that. So. That's the Grandmaster Feline Armor video. That's probably a bit of a shorter one because I'm going to have to edit it now. And I'll cut out the boring parts. But whatever. Likes, comments, always appreciated. Till next time, bye for now.